fraud and it's a shame and can you imagine where they say uh, you have to have your ballot in by November 10th November 10th that means that's seven days after the election in theory should have been announced okay we have major yes. no, states time, with that uh, sir all run by two Democrats minutes two minutes all you're, run you're, by you're, Democrats it's President a Trump it's a rigged I, I, election I, I, show up and vote you will determine the outcome of this election vote 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 if you're able to vote early in your state vote early if you're able to vote in person vote in person vote whatever way is the best way for you because you will he cannot stop you from being able to determine the outcome of this election the presidential candidate sparring over mail-in voting. This is the country prepares for it to possibly take days or even weeks to declare a winner. And that goes for a number of tight races, but for some of those races, it may not be as difficult or time-consuming to actually make that call. North Carolina, among the tightest of the tight when it comes to the race for president, a state that could determine who wins. But will we have to wait days, weeks, or even months to know the winner? Same question for hundreds of statewide and local races. The reason this year is so different, the 1.1 million absentee ballots that have been requested so far, more than a quarter of them already returned. So we've got about 280,000 ballots we've been able to keep track of thus far in North Carolina. More more than we had cast in all of 2016 and the majority of those are from Democratic voters. So when those hit the system right at the close of the polls, it's going to look like a big Democratic bump. A bump that will tighten as in-person election day ballots are counted. Particularly in a state like North Carolina where the mail-in ballots that are coming in early will actually be some of the very first um, ballots that are counted. So it's not that all mail-in are counted late, it's that some of the mail-ins that come in late will be counted late. So how does that affect when a candidate might concede? It all comes down to numbers. If candidate one already has 50,000 votes and candidate two has 40,000 votes, then there are 4,000 uncounted mail-in ballots then candidate two can't make up the difference. In that case, the race could be called. So it is very possible that we will still have a winner on election night, um, particularly in a state like North Carolina, where our Board of Elections um, seems to be a little bit more on top of this than, than some other states. But most agree the odds are some races will still be too close to call on November 3rd. And a reminder, early in-person voting right around the corner from October 15th through October 31st.